at stores and I thought I would film my spring TBR video today. I like to do monthly TBRs. I've been doing them since December and having tremendous success with them. But I think I'm needing a catch up month because I set this TBR at the end of February because I was really excited about my ideas for this month's TBR. But I haven't started it yet and it's already practically mid-March almost there so I'm just thinking I need I need a catch-up month so this is going to be my spring TBR and I'm hoping to finish it at the end of April so maybe a March April TBR um, the reasons why I need a catch-up month are um, number one I've just you know my December my January my February TBR each month I've had one or two books that have lingered on to the next month, so I haven't finished the stack. So those are piling up on me. And then some of those books have just been hard to get through. So, like, I've been reading White Trash for three months now, I think. So I just, I just really wanted to finish up all those lingering books and all of the non-finished TBR books to kind of have a fresh start. So that was one thing. And I know that the the books that I didn't start yet, I could just put back on the shelf, but I honestly don't want to do that because I feel like the excitement wears off of them after they've been on the shelf for a while. So I want to read the books while I'm still somewhat excited about them. And I feel like if I say I'm going to read them and then I put them back on the shelf, that's kind of a whammy against the book. I don't want to do that. I just don't want to lose interest in them. I do want to read them. So I don't want to put any books back on the shelf once I've put them on a physical TBR pile. So there's that reason. Um, the other reason that I want to make a spring TBR rather than a March TBR is that it's my birthday. And I've already bragged about my birthday haul. It's pretty darn fabulous. So I want to be at liberty to just pick up any of those books on a whim because it's my birthday month and I got new birthday books. So I want that flexibility. Those are two reasons. And the third reason being next week is um, Borrow-a-thon. So I do want to participate in that. That's been my read-a-thon that I've scheduled into my calendar and I'm pretty excited about it. I've got some ideas already. So I want to be able to work on that too. So there's not much time left in March, really. So spring TBR, we'll see how it goes. And hopefully um, in May, I'll have a monthly TBR again. So let's jump into this. And I apologize in advance for any blowout that occurs. I'm not sure that this white shirt was the best choice. We'll see how it goes. And I apologize for apologizing. I just watched a delightful new YouTuber that, oh, I have to leave my eye. Oh my gosh, I just put on my mascara. This delightful new YouTuber that wrote a, she didn't write it, but maybe she wrote some notes. But anyway, she presented a um, video, a booktube video, whatever, on not apologizing. And I really liked it. So sorry for apologizing, but you know, I do want to apologize about blowout, you know, but not too much because I really honestly don't care that much. But I do try to make aesthetically pleasing videos to the best of my ability. Anyway, and you know, there's my hair. I cut it. I cut it last week and I'm still having those bad hair days. Hopefully it'll calm down soon. It, it, it kind of does what it wants to. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't apologize. <laughs> anyway. I kid, I kid. Um, these first three books I'm super excited about. These three I got from that mega, mega haul video where I went. I did a pilgrimage to Kentucky. It was an hour and 10 minutes away. I have a friend that lives there and they have the Half Price Books Outlet and I got, what was it? 37 books for $31.80. So anyway, these three books, 
when I grabbed them off the shelf, I was really excited to find them because there are three books that made me think of some of my favorite booktubers. So, yay, maybe you can guess who these are about. I'll tell you. So this first one was um, a book olive. I'll leave all their links below. Um, this, I believe, is her favorite book. She talks about reading it from year to year. So, and uh, somebody else commented on my haul that it's great too. So I'm, I'm really excited to get to this one. Thank you, Bacala, for the recommendation. And this one is um, The King's General by Daphne de Bourier. And I have just been watching Lauren from Lauren and the Books gush about Daphne de Bourier all the time. And so I've had this author on my list to read since I've been watching BookTube and discovered Lauren's channel. And just today, I watched the cutest video with her and Mercedes from Mercedes and the Books. Anyway, I'll link her to Um But they talked about, I didn't realize, but Mercedes and um, Simon from Savage Reads were the ones that introduced Lauren to Daphne de Maurier. It's a lovely community, BookTube is. So anyway, uh, I finally, I've been on the lookout at used bookstores. And I finally found one. It's not one that Lauren has mentioned reading, but I think it's going to be a good one. I do. I do. I'm pretty excited. And then this one is not one that I remember um, Jen Campbell reading or commenting on, but I haven't watched all her videos. She's got a lot and I haven't. Maybe this summer I'll get all her backlog watched because I love watching her YouTube channel, but she loves short stories. So I found this one, of course, like a magpie. I was attracted to the gorgeous um, naturalist cover and butterflies. I love butterflies, but John Murray, a few short notes on tropical butterflies. So this is a collection of short stories um, from medical and naturalist and biological points of view, I think. And it got pretty pretty good ratings. And I just noticed somebody else hauling it recently. So hopefully it's a good one. But I've been wanting to read some short story collections since Jen talks about them so much. So those are three that I was inspired to read from fellow booktubers. Uh, then this next one, The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. I just finished The Muse by Jesse Burton. Uh, a few couple weeks ago and loved it and I'm really into historical fiction that one was set in dual perspectives dual settings of 1967 and 1936 and this one is set in way back like maybe 1600s I'm not positive but um, Dutch Amsterdam something to that effect but I was just completely fascinated by the extreme change of setting and I want to, I'm curious to see how she handles it. And Simon, also for Savage Reads again, um, I had a little brief comment interchange with him about that just yesterday and he really likes both of them. So let's we'll see how that goes. So another um, booktuber recommendation, it's great. Okay, and then this one. Don't Know Much About Geography by Kenneth C. Davis. Everything you need to know about the world, but never learned. This is another one of the books. It was one of my goals on my goal video was to polish off all of the random leftover books that had been lying around my house for years. So this is the last of those. So I'm almost about to check off a goal guys so that's good stuff and this is nonfiction, kind of educational I believe it's more of a YA book I don't remember it's been a while but I remember really enjoying it when I was reading it and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back and reread the whole thing or just start where I left off I'll probably skim the first few chapters honestly is what I'll do and see which ones interest me to read again. We'll see. 
And then these next three are also from that mega book haul in Kentucky. Um, these were from the, how shall I call it? The, I'm not going to put them on my actual CBR shelf. They're my maybe shelf. And my reasoning was that they were so cheap that if I don't get to them, you know, I don't really care. And they were books that I wasn't as confident on. I didn't know as much about. And I just was at the point where I'm just grabbing stuff, trying to fill the bag. So anyway, I calculated it's about 85 cents a book for all those books. So, you know. Um, this one, Molokai by Alan Brenner. I don't know, I was just attracted to the cover and I like um, cultural works. And I just noticed recently that another booktuber whose channel I was not prepared to tell you about, <laughs> but she's reading it with a couple of her friends this month. And so I thought, let me just go ahead and read it and, you know, at least see what she thinks about it at the same time that I'm reading it. Or, you know, maybe even ask if I can crash their party. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I did. She did. She did mention that it, the girl actually goes to live in a leper's colony, and so that really sparked my interest. I just didn't really know much about it when I grabbed it. I just grabbed it. Then these two are just basically chiclet. The Friday Night Knitting Club, and a sequel. The sequel to that. And again, you know, I thought. These would just be super fun beach reads because I'm heading to the beach um, soon. And yeah, just total chiclet. Sometimes that's a nice refreshing thing. And it, again, if I read the first one and don't like it, I don't feel compelled to read the next one. This one, All the Bright Places, I shared this one on a Friday read that I was thinking about picking it up. And I just didn't have time to because I was just trying to finish all those other books. So I feel like I've touched it. And even though I didn't actually put it on a TBR, I've grabbed it to read and not. And so I want to read it. I want to get it, you know, I want to keep that flow going. So see about that. YA, did I say that? YA romance? Yeah. And then the last one, Kristen Hanna, The Nightingale. This is one right as I was watch, starting to watch YouTube. I hadn't started my channel yet. This is one that was buzzing a lot that I just was profoundly interested in. And it's just making me sad that I haven't read it yet. Um, I just don't know why I haven't grabbed it. I think I had just read that Anthony Doerr World War II book and Maybe I didn't want to read it back to back with that one or something, but this is one I paid the big bucks for and I know I'm going to love because this is kind of my scene, but yeah, those are my spring TBRs and it'll be a while before I share any wrap ups on them because like I said, I'm trying to wrap up some old books and then I'm going to borrow a thon. So anyway, stay tuned. Maybe in April I'll have some wrap ups or Maybe I'll do some mammoth reading at the beach. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I'll chat with you soon. Bye.